Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today's video, I'm gonna go over three bad habits that a lot of people do in the gym that maybe you're doing yourself that you don't really notice, or maybe you're looking around the gym and you can kind of spot these things uh, that could be pretty detrimental to your health and um, definitely kind of can um, ruin your workout. Uh, number one being uh, too much rest time in between your sets. Uh, it, and this is really easy because again, time flies. And I see a lot of people you know, on their phones, um, talking to their gym buddies, um, staring at the TV, this and that. Again, when you're in the gym, I always tell my, you know, my clients and anyone that you're in the gym to, and again, if you have a goal, you're not just like, um, you know, cause I, again, there's a lot of people who are just, you know, sometimes I see retired people in the gym, they're, they're, they're just there to kind of move and move around. That's cool. But if you're in the gym for, you know, a sole goal, um, and a purpose, you're trying to, you know, reach your goals, uh, you want to make your workouts as effective as possible to get the best results. Right? So if you're trying to, you know, um, have a intense workout, keep your heart rate high. Um, and even for the sake of time, just, just trying to get through a workout, you know, in a good amount of time. Um, just trying to keep track of your rest time is, is a good way to, to do that. You know, have, um, have a timer, set on a watch, your phone, your iPod, whatever, um, for however long you want to rest, you know, whether that be 30 seconds to a minute to two minutes, if you're powerlifting, maybe, you know, three, four, or even five minutes, just to kind of keep track of your rest time and make sure you're not really going uh, too far over. And sometimes even like, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, if you're a power lifter, then uh, you want to make sure you're not going too little time under because you need a rest for your recovery. But for the most part, and for this, I'm talking about people who are trying to lose body fat or even trying, you know, build muscle hypertrophy because rest times are important with that too, with that time under tension, right? So uh, what I suggest, and I, I do that, I do this um, when I start my hypertrophy workout in my powerlifting session. Um, I'll I'll set a timer on my phone uh, for about a minute in between my 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 sets. And you might think a minute, wow, that's a long time, but really a minute goes by really fast and a lot faster than you would think. So just doing that is uh, can make your workouts that much more you know quick and effective. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and it's just a lot better because, like I said, time time goes by so fast. All of a sudden, you talk to your buddy for. What, what seemed like a minute turned into, you know, five to 10 minutes, you know, so that can really put a, a damper on your workout. Um, so uh, number two would be, uh, I see this more, oh my gosh, like a lot, uh, poor posture on cardio equipment. Uh, I realize that a lot of people do cardio post training, which, which I like and I recommend to do, but you need to make sure you're able to do the cardio correctly. Because again, a lot of people, you're tired after your weight training sessions, uh, that, that's great because you put in a, you know, a good effort. Um, which you should, but if you're if you're doing cardio for maybe 30 minutes post training, and you're on the elliptical or the stepper like this, and your your hips are kicked out, um, your your back's completely rounded, your shoulders are forward, your head's down. I mean, guys, that's that's awful. Um, of course, you know doing cardio is great. You're you're you know it's healthy for your body. Um, but okay, you're you're fixing one thing but you're creating other issues with your posture. So again, with, with all your exercises, I always stress, you know, good form, good posture, leads to um, a more optimal performance in the lift, um, better results, and just keeping your body safe and trying to keep your posture in, you know, a good alignment. Um, Cause if you have good alignment during your workouts and you have good alignment outside the gym too, it, it follows through, right? Um, so if you have bad posture on your, on your conditioning, just because maybe you're lazy, um, cause you pick too long of a time to be on your cardio machine, uh, or just because you're too exhausted from your workout, you have to try and fix that. Maybe do half conditioning pre half conditioning post, just because you'll be able to hold yourself up better and you're not so tired. Um, cause that, that's, that causes a lot of issues and it does not look good. Um, the last one would be, <coughs> excuse me, um, rushing your warm up. Um, I see this all the time, but when I get into the gym, this is my routine. I do, I, I walk in. Um, I spin bike for about five minutes, wait till my body heat, body kind of gets warm. Um, and then I'll go through my mobility stretches and then I'll go into even my warm up sets and my exercises. So my body is always prepped for the workout. And I, I have very little to none like injuries in my past. Uh, now my body feels good. I mean, I'm tight. I still got to work on my, you know, my flexibility, my mobility, but um, I, I never get injured. And that's because I take my time during my warm up. Again, you, you can get injured really easily if you just jump in, you know, you walk right into the gym and you put 135 in the bench press and you start pressing. Like, I see people do that all the time and they think it was lightweight, you know, I won't get hurt, I, I, this is a warm up weight. 
a lot of people and a lot of professional lifters get you know hurt during their warm-ups because um again they're very kind of like um loose on their form because it's easy weight um and again their body temperature is down so you really want to stress that your body temperature is up uh, and you go through your warm-ups with just like again like you're doing your workouts um you're focused on the exercise or the movement you're doing same thing with your warm-up focus on it you know uh because that'll help you perform better in the gym it'll keep you injury free and just make your body feel a lot better for the workout and after so yeah guys that's uh my uh i guess you could say top three things that i just kind of see in the gym that i just wanted to help you out because maybe you're doing one of these three maybe all three of these things and it's something to really correct um, to help you in the gym and outside the gym and just make you feel better um, overall. So yeah, hopefully that helped guys. Uh, give those a shot again. Kind of just keep focused on what you're doing in the gym um, and hopefully this will help you out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Maybe like the video. If this did help you, I'd appreciate that. Uh, until next time, guys, I'll catch you in that next video. Peace.